All right, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to set up your failsafe as well as your IOC for your Futaba 14SG and your Infinity 9. First off, you're going to start by selecting Go Home, the Go Home tab. So make sure it's highlighted blue, and then make sure backwards is also set. So you're going to see that on the pictures, you're going to see which way it's going to come back to you. So if you want it facing backwards or if you want it facing forwards. Um, typically, a lot of people feel more comfortable with it flying backwards towards you as opposed to forwards. So um, there's that. Now, you can also set a go home switch. So if you select the go home switch, you want to go to your channel mapping and you want to actually select the default switch, which is right here. So it's currently unmapped, but you can select it to a certain channel on your controller. So every time you flip the switch, that it will actually uh, return home for you. Now, of course, it's not recommended to always rely on this because um, it does not go around obstacles, it will go straight back to the return home. So there is that and you do want to just be very careful with that switch. You don't want to accidentally flip it while you're flying or do anything um, of that sort. Now the other go home feature is actually when you turn off your radio that it will actually go into the fail safe. So as you can see um, if we go back to basic and RC um, currently we already have the failsafe set up, but basically what happens is when your radio turns off, you want it to highlight into the failsafe automatically. So as you can see, it highlights into failsafe automatically. Now to do this, what you want to do is you want to turn on your radio, you want to double tap link for Futaba 14SG, you want to scroll down to the end point. So what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down all the way to gear, and you're going to adjust the setting till it highlights failsafe. So right now it's already highlighting failsafe, but you typically want it around the center of it. So at about this point. So for ours, it's gonna be around 47. Um, for other radios, it might be slightly different. But basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna set it. It's gonna remember it. You're gonna go down from the linkage menu all the way till face to failsafe. You're gonna click failsafe. You're gonna scroll down again until you see gear. Make sure that it's set on FS. Uh, if it's set on hold, you just have to double tap return. There's going to be a box that forms around it and you can adjust it. Um, and then when you're sure, you just click return again. So currently we have it set on FS. Now we're going to scroll over to position. Now position is basically, it's going to remember this position that it's currently at. So what you're going to do is you're going to hold return down and it's going to adjust so it's negative 46 so it's going to remember this every time your radio turns off so now we're going to go back to link we're going to scroll down to the end point and we're going to move our value back to the correct value so right now it's 47 we're going to scroll all the way back till it highlights GPS again so right now it highlights GPS and we're going to test if we did fail safe properly so we're going to turn off the radio and we're going to wait and it goes back to failsafe. So that means you did it properly and you're going to go back here and to failsafe and just make sure again that you have the go home tab checked. So this way whenever your radio turns off it will automatically do the go home failsafe method. And this is how to set up your failsafe. The second thing you, we're going to do is we're actually going to set up the IOC. So on the IOC we currently have it checked and we want it set to off course lock and home lock. Now there's other features which are actually in the A2 manual which you can actually go through um, the manual and check out what those features do. Um, but for our purpose we actually uh, use just course lock and home lock. So first off you're going to go to your channel mapping and you want to make sure that you set it again to a three position switch. So for our purpose we have it set to channel 6 and on the radio we actually set channel 6 as our SE switch. So as you can see, um, what we did is we, we clicked the channel mapping and we actually selected um, channel 6 as so. So it will show channel 6 on the side. You want to double tap link again, scroll down to the function menu. This is going to get your list of channels. So you're going to see aileron elevation. So you're going to scroll down until you see channel 6 and you want to make sure that it's set on the control and so we set it on a three position switch called SE so you can click return and scroll around until you find the switch that you want um, again we are using SE so we'll make sure it's selected and then we'll see if it works so right now you can see the tabs are moving if we close 
the channel mapping, you can also see that it's adjusting. If for any reason it's reversed, you can go to the linkage menu, scroll down to reverse, and you just scroll down to channel 6 and then reverse it if it's uh, going the incorrect direction. Um, and this is how to set up your failsafe as well as the IOC for the Futago 14SG and the Infinity 9 on the A2.